Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the thermal fuse in your dryer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws, securing the lower access panel. Detach the panel and you can access the old fuse to replace it. For better access to the fuse, you may want to remove the drum. To do this, unthread the screws securing the bottom of the front panel. Pull the panel out from the bottom to detach. Note the orientation of the door switch wires, then disconnect them and set the panel aside. Unthread the main top mounting screws. Lift the main top up and support it. Disconnect the light assembly wires and remove them from the retainer. Unthread the front bulkhead mounting screws. Lift the bulkhead up to detach it from the cabinet. Now reach under the drum and unhook the belt from the pulley and the motor shaft. You can use the belt to help lift out the drum. Disconnect the wires from the thermal fuse. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws to release the old fuse from the burner tube. Install the new thermal fuse by aligning it on the burner tube, then thread the screws to secure. Connect the wires. Reinstall the drum by aligning it on the rollers. Loop the belt on the pulley and the motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Now rotate the drum to help align the belt. Replace the front bulkhead by aligning the drum. Then insert the tabs into the slots in the cabinet. Rethread the mounting screws. Feed the light assembly wires through the retainer and reconnect them. Remove the support and lower the main top. Secure it with the screws. Replace the front panel by first reconnecting the door switch wires to the appropriate terminals. Now hook the retaining clips under the main top. Fully reposition the panel and rethread the screws at the bottom. Realign the lower access panel and secure it with the screws.
With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in, and your dryer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.